clip here and this is the first of hopefully what comes to be many videos on some ways to leverage Browsio. Uh, the first thing that caught my interest was importing accounts. It seemed like an easy task. So because it's easy, I'm going to do it first. <laughs> the first thing we're going to do, I want to talk about importing projects, this section right here. And then a little bit about manipulating those and how to do it. So first let's do import. Now I always use the dynamic importer when I'm doing projects, but that's because of my workflow. You can use this too uh, if you have Buddy uh, Enterprise. Uh, um, but really, I, I just choose to use the dynamic importer because it's easy. The file has to be a CSV file. In this case, all of these emails are dead anyway, so I have no problem letting you guys see all 50 of them. And you click open. And your CSV file just really has to be broken up into... Actually, let me just open it up for you so you can see it. Uh, I think this is the Excel version. No, it's the CSV version. So first name, last name, username, just the columns. So nothing uh, hard about it. And then your data information. And then what happens is the dynamic importer finds those columns. There you go. See, first name, last name, etc. Then you get to look at this and you can assign and them the thing so I don't need the secret answer so I can delete that I don't need the recovery email actually you know what for the sake of this I'll just show you what you can do with it you just put it in notes uh, this is the phone number so we're going to change that to phone number I want this to be the obviously the first name make this the last name because you see there's two emails here we're going to do that one's going to be the project name this one's going to be the password and this is going to be the email now i don't need those columns anymore so i'm going to do this and i also don't need to be importing all those accounts because i've already i know they're all dead so i ain't going to do it again so i'm gonna i don't want any of these just go ahead you see that button's pretty responsive so i can do the ten of them and then we'll just do three so we got all of those assigned good to go click import import successfully and close this now and there's our three accounts now what do you do with these you make a folder i'm going to create a new project a new folder and we'll call it training and i'll click save so there's training then i'm going to move this one here and there it is now watch this leave this one put this here yes and i'm going to put this here Yes. Now I have my, let's say this is named after my money site, for example. I don't know if this is going to get any bigger. Nope. So that's named for my money site. This is named for the tier one. And here's my tier two personas. And that's really how easy it is. Now let's say I got my tier two personas in place and I want to, I used Buddy Enterprise. That's this bad boy, it creates all kinds of accounts. You can select the sites here and see all the sites that it makes. It's a lot. I don't know uh, where he sells it at currently, but he does. If you guys want me to show you or point you out in the right direction, I'll, I'll do that for you. Anyway, you go in here. I use Chrome all the time because most of the, like the social sharing and all that other stuff is tied to the Chrome and not to the Firefox. You click on the little plus import bookmarks and you want to create click on the be file basically what this is is a copy of a run that I did earlier and I just um, deleted a lot of the sites in here and changed the passwords and stuff but this that's the format it makes you can pretty probably uh, copy this format and import any site that you want now that you have the format. But anyway, it's there. BE makes it, so I put it in BE. I click OK. And I used a copy of that. So that would be down here. It's right there. I want to call it training 
imported click save and then they are they're right there and then it, after they're imported what you do is just click on those some of them like in my case with this particular software some of them will be registered and create accounts some will not uh, if they're not I can manually do it if I want to or if I just don't want to mess with it uh, that particular account I don't care that much I'll just delete it uh, but that's how you do it with any with BE in particular uh, and you can use that same format which is right there let me delete this so you can see that a little better so it's the account name comma the URL uh, where to where login is the Gmail or your email comma your password comma your username comma first name comma last name comma date of birth blah 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 and then the rest of that information if you can zoom in if you want to and create that or let me know in the comments and I'll make a file that kind of has that there and then you can at, once you since you have that now you can essentially recreate that right there for any site that you ever make a um, an account on and use that buddy importer format right there to throw it all in here. <clears throat> there are other ones like Brazio projects and stuff. I've never used any of those. I only use this one here. I have an SCS like again, I don't use I haven't tried it and bothered, but the BE stuff is kind of what I rely on. Alright, so I hope this was helpful. I hope that solved your how to import accounts and how to import projects and how to manipulate them into tiers.